Todd from Burbank, California. My son told me he was in Burbank once when it was 117. Is that possible? 117? What's the hottest you've ever been in? Burbank, Vegas, where? I don't know. My grandmother who lives out like his grandma by Palm Springs. Hot. <laughs> by Palm Springs. <laughs> That is the worst answer. You, if anybody ever says, you what is the hottest place you've ever been, you never say, my grandmother, and take a pause. That was, I've got a rash. Um, I was in Phoenix once. It was 124 degrees, and I was coming back after doing a private gig with Spade. Spade was staying because he lives there. I went out to the Sky Harbor Airport to get on the plane that I had rented. The pilot looks at me and he goes, well, we won't be able to leave. It was around 2 in the afternoon. It was a lunch gig. And he said, well, we'll be able to leave till around 6 or 7 tonight. I go, why is it? It's too hot to fly. He said, we can't get off the ground. I said, what? He said, yeah, the air's too thin. It won't, uh, the wing won't get a good bite on it. And we can't get up. I said, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? He said, I've got some Da Vinci line drawings here that might make more sense to you. Did you ever sit next to somebody on a plane who's so fat that you began to doubt the very physics of air travel? You just look at me and you go, really? We can get up. That's a powerful force. Todd from Burbank. Do you think we are living in a parallel universe? I don't, but this dentist does. <laughs> Um, in the, uh, is the truth, is the truth is being sacrificed. Please look at Tea Partiers, New Black Panthers, and The Spill in the Gulf, among others. What is up with this? What are you eating buttons, like, for breakfast? He was caught in that 117 degree <laughs> you, can't, you cannot wear your regular tinfoil hat when it's hot out like that. You've... You've jiffy popped your brain. Uh, let me see. Uh, the Tea Party years make sense to me. For the most part, seem like nice people who are scared shitless, as I am on some level. Uh, New Black Panthers, bullies, punks. Uh, and if they're off limits, if you can't go after them, send them down to the border. Let them patrol the border. That's my feeling. <laughs> That's why the illegals can't complain about them, and they can't complain about the illegals. It's just a big wash. Uh, the spill in the Gulf seems to be over, and oddly enough, they capped it 90 days in, which is, <laughs> it just reminded me when they first, they said that they'd have the alternative well in three months, and I remember saying, yeah, does this look like it's going to be fixed in 90 days? And then they fixed it at the 90th day, and I said, I don't know anything anymore. But uh, that being said, uh, it that was not a good show for the, this White House. I mean, they had the reaction time of uh, Anwar said, that's security coterie. Have I said that every week on this? It's my new reference. No. Oh, okay, good. Uh, number two, uh, what's up with this? I don't know. The only thing that makes sense to me anymore is what's up with that <laughs> on SNL. Ooh, -wee. what's up with that? Uh, Chris for Enjoy these samples of the bathroom sessions, a weekly video available only to members of the DMZ, the Dennis Miller Zone on DennisMillerRadio.com.